Hey guys, what's going on? I'm John Malecki, and in this video, we're gonna build this waterfall slab coffee table, including metal bow tie inlays, a mitered waterfall edge, an aluminum leg, and Woodpecker's new flattening jig. Check it out. Check it out, guys. I am at Woodpecker's headquarters here in Cleveland, Ohio testing out their new slab flattening jig. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut down this slab to rough dimensions and then we're gonna test out the new jig. So check it out, this system is pretty simple. You literally have these two rails and then your carriage and that's about it. So I'm gonna fasten these rails to the tabletop because the table's flat and then we're gonna get routing. So as you can see, the rail capacity for um, flattening was not the entire size of this specific slab. So what we'll do now is just move the rails down a little bit and then we'll uh, finish up with the same depth of pass on the router. I don't have to change any settings and then flip it over and do the top. All right, so we're back in Pittsburgh. I've got the slab on the bench. I want to remove the bark from this inclusion just because bark continues to die after a tree is slabbed and it'll eventually just fall off. So um, I'm going to use some chisels to do that, but I need to sharpen them up first. So let's get to that. So the bark should break off pretty easily. It shouldn't take a ton of work. If you are removing the bark from a tree and it's difficult, make sure that you're using a moisture gauge to make sure that the uh, wood is actually dry enough to use for furniture. So I'm gonna sand it all down to 80 grit because we're using metal bow ties. I wanna eliminate as much sanding as I can for down the line. I'm gonna clean up all the edges with my Makita brush sander. This thing actually came out of the kiln super nice, so it doesn't need much work. But if you're interested in learning more about this tool, I do have a video and I'll have that link in the description. So what we're gonna do is create relative parallel edges. I'm gonna mark a line to the three cuts that we need to make for the waterfall and then use my track saw to cut them. So I want the whole table to be 19 inches high, so what I've done is measured 19 inches from our previous cut. I made another line that's parallel, and now I'm gonna cut this in half. I'll do the miters on the table saw because after this, there'll be more manageable pieces, and it gives me a much more crisp miter. So because my table saw is big enough to handle the 40 inches that I'm looking for on the top, I'm gonna to cut this on there. It also has a better depth capacity and there won't be as much deflection in the blade. So I'm gonna cut the opposite side to the part we just did um, and I'm gonna take slow increments there, probably half an inch at a time. Now, if you're not comfortable doing something like this, don't do it. Use your track saw, it would work perfectly fine. Oh, 
All right, so we're gonna lay out some of these metal bow ties in this gap. I'm just gonna do this by eye. What I'm gonna do is use a pencil to kind of mark where I want them. And I think that's about right. And then I'm gonna take some CA glue to hold these into place while I scribe a line with a sharp straight edge. So the reason you wanna use CA glue here is so that you can, you can put pressure on the sidewall and keep your marking knife nice and firm. If you don't, you're probably gonna move your bow tie and knock it in after the scribe. All right, so we're gonna use two-part epoxy, five-minute epoxy to set these in the wood. Um, so I'm gonna scuff up the bottom real quick so they adhere a little better. not Paul Jackman. I do not have magical powers. So this old girl's looking solid. Gonna sand it up, put the finish on her and get her done. We finished the bottom and mounted the leg just so I could work on it a little bit easier. And now I water pop the top. I'm gonna hit it with 400 grit to knock down all of that soft grain and get some finish on this thing. I'm softening up all the edges with the same 400 grit for all the uh, haters out there who are gonna say this table isn't child friendly. Of course it's not child friendly. It has a massive point sticking out the side.
Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you want to see another one of my beautiful custom furniture pieces, got one queued up for you right here. I also want to send a big thank you out to Woodpeckers for sponsoring this build. Their Live Edge Slab Flattening Jig is amazing. And if you want more information on that, I've got a link down in the description. Lastly, thank you one more time for tuning in. Go punch your next project in the face, and I'll see you on the next video.